Cystitis quick review. Here is the urinary bladder on fire. So what are the symptoms? Frequency, urgency, burning dysuria. Frequency, urgency, burning dysuria. Frequency, urgency, burning dysuria. But there is no fever and there is no costal vertebral angle tenderness. So if you have these four symptoms plus fever and costal vertebral angle tenderness, it's probably pyelonephritis. Uh, on physical exam, you will find like suprapubic mass. Supra pubic mass okay what's the most common organism is e coli other organism including organisms klebsiella proteus but proteus will have an ammonia odor if the patient is young female it can be staphylococcus saprophyticus Okay, what are the risk factors for cystitis? Catheter, immunosuppression, obstruction, strictures, and tumor, also repeated sexual intercourse. It's common in females than males. Why? Females have shorter urethra, uh, spread from the vulva is easier, um, and take care of this. If the patient has the symptoms of cystitis plus dyspareunia, it's probably a cervicitis. So take care of that. Males should not get urinary tract infection, especially cystitis. So if you have a male with cystitis or with symptoms of cystitis, you should do imaging because maybe there is an anatomical problem. Also consider alternative um, conditions such as prostatitis, epididymitis, or others. Also, anal intercourse will increase the risk of cystitis in male. What else? How to diagnose cystitis by urine analysis will show more than five white blood cells. Also, you will have positive leukocyte esterase because this is bacteria. If it's a gram-negative bacteria such as E. coli, you will have also nitrite-positive urine. You can do culture if you wish. The culture will be positive for the organism. But there is something called sterile pyuria. So basically there is pus in urine, but there is no organisms on culture. So pus and the culture is negative. It's called sterile pyuria. Organisms will be chlamydia trachomatis or Neisseria gonorrhea. How to treat cystitis? We treat it with trimethoprim, sulfamisoctazole, or fluoroquinolone. But take care, do not use fluoroquinolones in pregnancy. They are teratogenic and cause cartilage damage in kids. This is cystitis under four minutes. All you need to know with Medicosis Perfectionalis. See you next section.